So if you're having issues syncing your Fitbit from one device or one app to another, same goes for Google Fit, you might want to check out Health Connect. So when you go into Fitbit and you go into your device settings, you can see here um, shows your devices, shows apps, and shows Health Connect, and you can see synced right here. Now you see on here Health Connect on today, you can see show data from Health Connect, show data from Fitbit only. So Health Connect has a big, big impact on the type of data you're seeing in Fitbit coming from other apps. So if you use Y Things or if you use Cardia or if you use um, even Google Fit, there's data that's being passed back and forth. And you can see here under Manage Data and Access, you can see Fitbit's been reading, writing, it looks like every 10 minutes, and it does this all day. But there's other apps that also read and write in here. You can also see if I go a little bit further down here, there's Y Things, and it's basically writing and reading. Um, it's writing my vitals, my 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 weight and blood pressure, um, whereas it's reading some other stuff in here from the Fitbit app. And so when you go into app permissions, you can see there's only three apps in here. And what I did was the ones that I want to go to other apps, I leave all of these checked for red so it can read all of the data from um, basically Fitbit. And then when I want that app to write data into Fitbit, you got to have the right data points checked right here or else it's only going to read it. And so it does actually record some of this data over in Why Things and in Google Fit. Um, but it's coming from Fitbit and it's using this Health Connect. So Health Connect is the proper integration you want to use for all the Fitbit related data points being passed back and forth between the different smart apps or smart tech that you're using to measure your vitals and your health and stuff like that. And so you just want to go in here and make sure whenever you're doing the read, it's so it can read that data. You don't want Google Fit to read Fitbit data if it's also grabbing the data and recording it. Like if you're using Google Fit tied to your phone, then you wanna make sure that you have that disabled because if you're having it read data from Fitbit, like your steps and your activity information from your watch, you don't want it to double write it because what it'll do is it'll take the activity from your phone and the steps in your phone and the, the steps from your watch and it'll inflate your data. So you wanna make sure to have certain things turned off, you see, and certain things turned on, so it doesn't either inflate your data or miss it and not pass the data over to the app properly. So thank you for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed this short demonstration of how to use uh, Health Connect and Fitbit. It's a video that's getting a lot of attention on one of my shorts, and so I wanted to share more information about how to use it in just a couple of minutes time. So I hope that was short enough for you, and thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Take care.